It's time for tea, and this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and sip tea while analyzing the biggest entertainment stories. I am Ife Oluwa Oshunke, and I'm here with the sauce dripping Ewa Oritu and the stylish Benny Ak. What's good, guys? What's up, what's up, homie? Sauce Ewa. drip, too you much know. sauce, too much sauce. You know, <laughs> you know. what's good? I'm excited. And the yes. stylish, stylish Benny Ak. I'm you good. Know, stylish is good. With I the got, vintage I got, stuff all the time. I, I, I got style, baby. Man. Mm, style for it's days. What, it's what I was born with it's innate you know mm. so what's the plan for the week money can buy fashion but not style the right. plan for the week so. right. <laughs> thank god it's friday there. what's the plan for the weekend um well it's not like i have anything planned out right now but i mean i'm just excited that it's weekend because i know something will definitely pop up definitely i will him in this december what about you benny no dirty December, but I'm getting taunted all through this weekend. Don't, man. Like, okay, no dirty December, right but it's about to be. He parties every time and he's saying no dirty December. <laughs> Bro, what you talking about? But it's now? about to be dirty because um, there was a concert mishap at the Murio Kuala Park on the 19th of December during the Native Land concert. It has been reported that the VIP stage caved in minutes into singer Fireboy's performance. Several people have been reported to have sustained favors degrees of injuries and this is just dirty this, this is, is dirty very, for me I mean, this, this is dirty, very dirty. <laughs> it's a real dirty December everything out around this is just very dirty yeah press release that they've now taken down mm. is very dirty i mean that's the most terrible thing i've ever read in my life how can you odd people how can you, I don't know, cheat people because they paid for this ticket and you got, they got there and you told them the show has been postponed mm -hmm. because you wanted people to leave. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you're planning anything, before you start selling tickets out, you should already know that if you're selling this number of tickets, that means at least you should expect, I'm sure people didn't come there and mm. say, oh, there was no ticket. True. And then your security were was flogging them. That's just horrible. And aside that, I have to give a shout out to Fireboy because he was performing Patti's um, Scatter. Right. Yes, and then the stage came there. <laughs> so it's, it's more like the song was the cause. So let's blame Fireboy for And I have to one. give a shout out but to Nara Mali because he came to, you know, control the crowd, control the crowd. Mm. Even after Mali has there, come forward. Come forward. The rest, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I was waiting for you to finish <laughs> the sentence, but it's all good. So um, Naira Box has also come out to talk about this because they were the ticketing um, agents in charge of the Native Land concert, mm -hmm. and they said they only had um, the ticketing role to play. They right. had nothing to do with logistics, with planning, with all of that. That's so, very correct. And I think that's only right, because when they released their statement, they started by saying, oh, they invited expatriates from all over the world mm. to make sure. That's not even the way to go about it. And I think for a show that big, it shouldn't even be that venue to start with, because no. if we are talking about security, that's even a wrong venue to use in terms of security. Until Nigerian showgoers begin to hold show organizers accountable for most of this, their misdeed, mm. you know, and mm. gross negligence of putting mm. proper structure and logistics in place to, to make sure people come, come get value for their money, this is yeah. going to continue. Definitely. Like you rightly said, I mean, I see Miro Kola Park as a place for you to have a picnic concert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not for a proper show. And then you're having artists in the likes of Bonner Boy. Or a and, controlled and, audience. And Naira Mali, that you know the entire mainland is going, is going to flood, <laughs> and you're having a show at mm. Murio Kuala Park. I was already a recipe for disaster for what happened. Exactly. You know, and so, Ewa Riley said it. Instead of taking responsibility and coming out to apologize, you know, you for. Went for what you did a very good round. You know, you're like, making excuses saying fault. that the security got overwhelmed by, by, by the crowd and blah, 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 blah. And I, all of that is But videos bollocks. don't lie. We saw what was going on. Right. All of that the people is bollocks. That take, take responsibility for your structural um, ineptitude because for the stage to have caved in, I meant it was never done properly. You know, take also responsibility for your lack of proper organization of mm -hmm. people you want to come into the park. And it's so funny. I, I, I'm glad Nara Box came out to give out, um, mm. um, yeah, put out a yeah, statement. So, yeah. Even though at the end of the day, they will have, they, they will have been dragged into this into mess. Because this. a so, lot of people were already dragging them, actually. So, is it, and then this, this is just one incident. This is just, one, this is just one incident. You know, because at the end of the day, the stage had to cave in. We've had many shows, and still shows are still going to happen, where the organization lacks logistic and proper planning. It's strictly poor. Mm. But I'm sorry. 
the Nigerian showgoer, the average Nigerian showgoer, is still going to go and pay his money, will not get full value for his money, mm -hmm. and the most they can do is just rant and talk about it or put a few statements, a tweet out there, and it ends That's there. It. There is nobody holding these guys accountable. And the truth is they've made the money already. Yeah. And they don't care. And then there are people who use I mean, their savings to actually go for this Did you read the last concert. part of that press um, statement and then they said something like, we heard or something like that, that we heard people it is, got injured. It has been reported. You know, it has been alleged. Yeah, been alleged. Native land should be a native show. Okay, Let's just so put, it, <laughs> put it like that. We, we hear, I can't see clearly, but... Yeah, no, let's even forget it because we already know that the um, the old statement is all a mess up because mm -hmm. if you're going to put out a statement, it should be something that explains and you taking responsibility for what you did. And you're saying that the people mm -hmm. that got injured, if they well, want to that get... There are reports that people got injured. Yeah. We are aware that, that there, there are, are reports. reports. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... You know what? I think this is where we just end this topic <laughs> and it's time for a break, but when we return, we still have more stories to discuss. Stay with us on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Don Kamaiti has finally spoken up about his recent arrest. Reports indicated that he was arrested by officers of the Imo State's Police Command on allegations of fraud. And now, Don Kamaiti is out to say that um, he was extorted and um, he was detained by the anti kidnapping squad and telling them to say where they actually detained him, that they didn't take him to the station, and saying that you have government power and I have God. But I think um, Don Kamaiti is fond of um, pointing accusing fingers whenever they call him out mm. because he needs to start taking responsibility just like native land as well because if they actually paid you <laughs> 11 million naira to manage an artist which is not even enough in right now when i heard that i was surprised like, mm -hmm. I was like why would you even like, accept 11 million that, yeah. so it looks shady because, he knew he was because they said they went to, to fino they went to uh, five star music they went to other people and they mm -hmm. turned down the offer naira. right because it's 11 million naira. and then Don Mighty was the one who said he was going to take it and in my opinion i'm wondering like it Don Mighty, how far can he push an artist because after fake love and uh, mr lover lover so i don't think he's so right still now. trying it's still Back then, it was yeah, it was the right now, top shotter. But right now, I don't think Duncan Mighty has that power to changed. push an artist, especially with 11 million naira. I think that is just a small amount. So Duncan Mighty, you need to tell us more because we really don't believe this. And me. Or I don't believe this. I, I, I mean, it was very difficult to read what you put out the there. I, I just didn't understand what you were saying. I'm sorry, but I, it was like I was reading jargons. I'm very mm -hmm. sorry. But... I read the twenty-two k, um, k dollars pass, mm. and I'm wondering if really it's equivalent to eight million naira. You're not owing these people. Uh, there's really nothing wrong. You would just pour out eight million they naira like that. They said it was They didn't say he gave, and that he was forced to do a transfer to them. So he's okay. saying it like everything they did to him was without his consent. It was under duress. So I don't. I really don't know what. I mean, to it's rich say enough to go to the police. He knows all of them. Like he said, he was like calling them out. Go to the police. Right. Um, file a petition do, and let's do, see what do, happens. Do you guys realize that in all of what he said, he didn't debunk the fact that he didn't collect any money from True. these people? Mm, right. No. He even. Uh, you get it? At some I mean, point, he even I'm, said that um, the artists didn't show up until after the I signing think, and all of that. So, so bro, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That money, it would not have given them that 8 million naira if that 11 million naira was not but involved. I agree. Mm -hmm. 
true that. Well, Duncan Mighty, I think you need to do better on this story, and then we really need to get to the bottom of this because um, it's really getting so messy. So, Duncan, does he does he have a publicist, someone that writes for him? Because he, he, his writing is horrible. <laughs> Very I horrible. I couldn't make sense no. of anything he was saying. Well, was, I tried. Writing. I tried to make sense, and then at the end of the day, he wasn't making sense. Make, I can't <laughs> just stop. I no. can't just have a dig because I want to read Duncan Mighty's post. Come on, if it, it mm. was just really horrible. He needs to do better when he wants to put out stuff. Mm. Like All right, let's move to another messy situation. Whiskey has been dragged to court by Tony Tetwila. If you remember Tony Tetwila, you don't eat my car. A Ghanaian singer Tic Tac for sampling their song Fefe Nefe released in 2004 but pay, failed to pay for it in the filed lawsuit of copyright infringement. The artist have demanded 82000 Dollars as compensation, which is equivalent to 30 million naira, mm. and I think that's a small amount of money. I was just gonna say that, that's <laughs> cheap. Yeah, that's for a no, whiskey. But that's, like, not, that's not just what that's they're not asking all. for. Yeah, that's, that's the royalties from every digital every, download. Yeah. Basically, they mm -hmm. want to co hone that song. Yeah. Just like whiskey. what, um, just the, like the agreements between Blackface and Two Face, because yeah. they said you're working out an agreement for him to be getting royalties mm -hmm. from African Queen. The auditors, they have a whole lot of work to do. Right. Do you know how long African Queen? Mm -hmm. Was released and it was soundtrack. Um, it was a motion. It was soundtrack for motion picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fat girls. Fat girls. Yeah. That's a whole lot of money Blackface is about to make. But hey, back to the Tic Tac, to the Tequila <laughs> and Whiskey story, right? I think I they mean, are. They are. They I, are I like the fact is that this is very yeah, valid. That a whole lot of this now is coming to fall. So people should know that you just don't. You don't have the right to just lift up people, someone else's intellectual property, right. and mm -hmm. use it will. Mm -hmm. So if when I heard the song the first time, I like my mom, like okay. But well, his whiskey, his management would have known better. They would have taken permission. So when this finally came out, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. typical of the Nigerian artist to take somebody else's work and not, excuse me, and not even give them credit at all. Mm -hmm. And for the amount Tic Tac, it was actually Tic Tac featuring Tony Tetula. That song was a hit song. Mm -hmm. It was a huge song when it came out. True that. You know, and so for them to actually build him that amount, they, they build him, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. They were being nice to Whiskey. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I was shocked again that for someone like Whiskey, your management, your record they company, know they better. should know better. Mm -hmm. You know, that to allow you get it messed up in this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I can't, it always happens. I mean, maybe sometimes it happens. Even in the international front, we see all those things happen with big yeah, arches. Yeah, I was going oh, to say, we just saw yeah, yellow. Juice World and Yellow what, Card. Uh, yeah, yellow, what, what's yellow that card. Yellow Pepper? Yellow Card. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, 69, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it will always happen. I just, my, my only concern right now is that I hope that Whiskey and his management will take the right step and not come out and act like two faced. No, I'm sure by now mean. that the news is out there, they're probably, um, trying to they come reached to terms. They, 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 they should have reached out because was it um what's his name mr easy and somebody. and um what this our um sakode and sakode and who was the guy that said they used the song, song um, um i'm trying to remember I can't for the remember life that. of me right now i can't yeah. remember the you know what's amazing and they said you actually you actually chose the, the wrong people too too well i give them props when they were on the scene, they were hot. Mm -hmm. You actually chose two people who have been out of the scene for a long time. We don't know if they're rich or broke. You know. <laughs> and right now, they need that cash. They need so that So we are saying 30 million naira is, is little, but at the end of the day, come on, 30 million naira. But when I'm excited, I don't, I don't get the money. Where's, where's Tony Tetwila, by the way? Who knows? Where he is right now. Tony Tetwila. This is Lagos, right? It's somewhere in Lagos. Right? It's somewhere in Lagos. Are you sure it's in Lagos? <laughs> anyway, Tony Tetrilla, um, apart from this law, so we need new music for you, you know? Right <laughs> it's in Ghana. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's time for a break, but when we return, myself and the squad will be discussing one more story. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. and Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early.
welcome back, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Timaya is asked to stop being put in the same category as other musicians when it comes to style. It's still yet unknown what caused the outburst, but according to the plantain boy, the so-called celebrities don't even know original stuff. Hmm. Pride or fact? What is original stuff? The like, fact that it's not um, the popular designers. That's no, that, we see a lot of we see a lot of um, fake Gucci sneakers, and then by the time you check the actual price of those sneakers, it's about one point two million naira. Mm -hmm. And then you see a lot of upcoming artists that they don't even have a proper video out no, there. No, right now it's not. Uh, Timaya isn't talking about upcoming artists. It's no, I'm just about talking about already like, made artists. I mean, everybody. We can't take away the fact that Timaya is one of the best dress in the industry. I mean, uh, says that one of the richest always, as well. Yeah, it's something everybody has always given to him. So now I think it's talking about made artists, A-list artists. So mm. it's not talking about upcoming. And I'm wondering, because they are wearing what their friend made, does that, is that what make it fake? What their friend made? Yeah, because he was saying you guys are friends with tailors because um, you want them to style you. And no, I think he was trying to, if you ask me my opinion, he was shaking the table that EK was on or that EK is on when it came to the um, Swanky Jerry thing and saying mm. that um, you gave credit to another design, I mean to Swanky Jerry while it was styled by another designer. We've seen a lot of artists that most of the time they're being styled by people but they don't even give credit. They make it look like it's their clothes. Do you understand? So I understand where Timaya is coming from but I think it's totally unnecessary because if they put you as um, top 10 most stylish Nigerian artists, just take it and walk away. You don't need to make I a really video and say they don't I really don't understand where it's know. coming from because um, if I'm okay. wearing my friend's brand and that does not make you fake. Let me, let me, let me chip work. in here if I, if I can say something about Timaya. Oh, he's among the top 10 most stylies. Mm. Yeah. What number is he? I don't know. I didn't see He's not number list. one? No, no, I didn't see. Is, should he be? Yes, he should. Timaya? Yes. You think so? Best oh, yeah. Dressed. He's the best dressed male mm. entertainer. I mean, okay, that's in debatable. The, I'm sorry. In the, well, I'm just saying, in the music, and they can go on. I said it. They should they take this clip and put it out there. I mean, Timaya. But when we're talking about in terms of who wears the I mean, original I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even bothered about original right now. I'm, I'm going to come to that in a bit. He's talking about original. original yeah. But I'm not even bothered about original because I'm not, I'm not close to him. I don't see the tags when, when, he's, mm. when he's ripping them, when he's mm. popping them. Mm. All right, but when it comes to being stylish, Dress-wise, I, 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 I know. I mean, nobody can even take that away take from, from him. That's but do you think I mean, it's the most stylish? No, I don't think. I don't think it's think the, the most stylish. stylish. So would you yeah. even male, 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 male artist, male Nigerian artist, male artist. Oh, oh, Wait, this Nigerian one saying. Artist. Wait, music artist. Yeah. No, let, you said Timaya. Music. So, uh, well, yeah, music yeah. artist, male music artist. Nobody can take it from Timaya. Male music artist. Who's the most stylish? I'm not saying entertainment right now. Hey, well, entertainment, I'm going to go to David. David. Honestly, David was coming to my mind. Ah! <laughs> David wears real stuff, but he doesn't really know how to put them together. I don't know, but there's opinion. some things that I see on him. He doesn't know like, how to put them together so because nice. if I'm buying all that expensive just, stuff, come on, I'll say no more, man. Just said it. David so Doe buys original stuff, and I'm thinking because of its youthfulness, mm. the, the age bracket, then he dresses that way. There's no style in it. Are they original stuff? I yes. think so. But when it comes to being stylish, that's why I said I can't, I can't attest for sure that he wears Whiskey. brand. Oh, don't even go there. Don't, don't even go there. Oh, you know, listen, don't after even go after there. Timaya, mm -hmm. the next in line will be the bunch. Yeah. We're okay. Say no, no, no. Okay. Say no more. Was, say like no more. Say we that. take Timaya off the list so and we replace him with the bunch. No, 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 no. no, no. The bunch is the most stylish Nigerian artist. We can't take Timaya off the list. Between Timaya and the bunch, Timaya is number one. If ever, don't mm. you ever think whiskey is stylish? Please don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Whiskey just oh, keeps don't, it don't real. Don't say that. Whiskey <laughs> keeps it wear, real. They might wear brands. But we, no, no I'm not stylish. even talking about brands. You, know? you don't even know what brand whiskey is wearing most of the time, know, but it looks good all know, the time. Know, that's know, that's one don't thing I know about whiskey. So I think Tamaya was just rightly trying to say, you know, don't compare me with your other celebrities. Mm -hmm. they, they wear, they pro they, we all know, I said it on the show one time, celebrities wear for gazing. Mm -hmm. We can't take it from them. Do you know, if you want to buy just Nigeria a West for gay shirt, <laughs> you, we're talking about a thousand something dollars, over yeah. a thousand something dollars. Hello, how much are you making on your shows for you to wear that consistently, almost like mm -hmm. every day that's your dress out? Did you see? Um, you know? And so, um, Timaya is right. Because I feel he, he stands right on this premise to say what he's saying. And then I don't you think know. he's a tag guy. He's not all about the brand. He just wears so. whatever he just, is comfortable. He dresses good. Yeah, but just, this you know. particular video, it was about the brand. tag. Oh, the brand. okay. And then did you see um, Ike Obuna's reply? 
No, I didn't. What did I Oh, you had a lot to he replied? say. Yeah. And what did oh. you say? He called him out. Oh, not just him. I think he called a couple of other celebrities. Yeah. That it was not... Wait, let me try and remember oh, wow. his words right now. Like... Um, no, you don't have to say word for word. Just say... Yeah, basically, he's just trying to say it was a bit insulting. And then he, he went and oh, wow. said, you know, it was the plantain boy. And he's just being proud. He's just saying he was bragging all through and... Why he should have just oh yeah, um, I, I expect that for Michael Bono why, why after I saw him Michael recently at yeah, the did Superstar did he, did because that, he was practice. wearing some Gucci chain reaction that looked like um, rope reaction. All right, so it's time for us to say whoa, bye on today's whoa, 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 whoa. episode of Tea Time. <laughs> and have an awesome weekend. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu and Benny Ak for their contributions and the entire production team. I'm Ifeolu Oshike saying thank you for watching. Peace and love. Thank you.